What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph, and this is Shamanda. Hey! Right now, we're at episode 10. That was loud. Of Attack on Titan. This is called Answer Battle of Trost District Part 6. Shamanda, are you ready? Heck yeah, I am. Oh, Aaron, old Aaron. You, you. <laughs> Let's go. Slide, you just slide, turkey. <laughs> One more time! Are you a human being or a titan? I'm human! I watched those monsters eat my squad! Mm. I saw my friends die! I didn't even really feel anger or sadness about the whole thing! All I could think was better you than me! But soon, I know we'll be up to. That'll be it. The end can put the game over! I don't want to be eaten! Hey, keep it together, okay? You're not alone, you know. We're all fighting back our fear. Look at Sasha! Even after what she's seen, she remains a proper soldier! Sasha is alive. Ah! Oh, my stomach aches! Please carve me away with the wounded! Let me die! Hold on! Stop it! She's hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, the order to keep our mouths shut makes perfect sense now. As if the situation isn't bad enough already. I just knew she was dead! Mm -hmm. Can it fire? Why just one shot? Look! Oh, yeah. Smoke! It's inside the wall! Get it here for our own. Not now. Is that Titan Steve? Hey! Go! Come on, nosy neighbors! Right. He came back as a colossal. What the hell is that? Get out of the stomach! Or the... It's alive! Captain Foreman! Uh, oh. Let's see what it does! Maintain your distance! All squads remain alive! It can strike at any time! Uh, Artillery crew, get that cannon reloaded! Mm. <laughs> No, like for real, it's feeding off of him. Ooh. What is that? I know I heard them fire their cannon at us, and then, and then there was a tremendous crash and a blast of heat. Apparently, we're now in the innards of a giant scale. And we did this for us, Armin. Mm -hmm. That's all we need to understand for now. I know that's right. Right. Tell him, Mikasa. Right. Those flowers were there before. Yeah. How did they? Armin! Mikasa! Hey, are you guys all right? Aaron, how'd you? I don't know, but look, it's already starting to vaporize just like the corpse of a titan. Let's get out of here. Hard to tell if they're watching and waiting. We're just totally dazed. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't really matter much either way. I'm sure once the smoke clears, they'll resume the attack. Get out. After seeing this, I think we've blown any hope of reasoning with them. Mm. The cellar. I'm starting to remember this key. Our house in Shiganshina. My father said I'd have to go back there. Everything hinged on it. I think it's why he gave me the power to transform. If I can make it back to our cellar, I might learn the Titan's secrets. Well, come on, man, you too. Secret. <laughs> why did he keep this stuff secret? How many thousands of scouts have already died because my father didn't share this information? It could be the last chance humanity has! And the answer so they can't hear the way house this entire time? <laughs> Is he insane? Damn him. Hey, your daddy's still alive. Where have you been these last five years, Dad? Aaron. <laughs> We have other business to deal with. Okay, listen. Y'all got a fire right. squad right there. Get ready! The smoke's clearing! As soon as you see it, blast Kill it before it gets HOLD up. YOUR FIRE! I'm getting out of here. Where? And how? Anywhere but 
here. Then I head over the wall and straight to Shiganshina. But I'll have to become a Titan again. Mm. You can transform at will? To be honest, I don't know how I'm doing it, Armin. I just know that I can't. Mm. It's hard to put into words, but it was like a reflexive, see? In that moment, my mind subconsciously focused on stopping the cannonball. That's why it's decaying. It only had the endurance to meet that task. Oh. Mm. Get ready to pause, because I know they're going to explain something. I'll be stronger. Because <laughs> I'm a 15 meter high Titan Slayer just like I was before. Aaron. Mm, you're bleeding. Your nose is... Your breathing is erratic and you're pale. Something's wrong, Aaron. You're not well. As things stand, my health is irrelevant. But I have two ideas. You two could make it out of here alive if you stop trying to protect me. I plan to follow you whether you give me permission to or not. I swear, I'll never leave your side. Mm -hmm. Because of stop it, I'm being serious here! I'm not your little brother, and I'm not some snot-nosed toddler! I can't count the number of times they've come to my rescue. Oh, come on. I was now. always so weak. I could never reciprocate. Physically, the yes, but mentally, you're strong. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know I what still mean? haven't earned the right to think of myself as their equal. I can't afford to try and repay their kindness by going with them. I only get to slowing them down. If you recall, I said I had two ideas. <laughs> Dang. Armin, I trust you to make the right decision. Wow. I try to use my Titan ability strategically under military direction. Mm -hmm. This might sound crazy, but if you think you can convince the Garrison Regiment right here and now that I present no threat to them, I'll trust you and we'll go with that option. Mm. That's my second idea. <laughs> All right. If you don't think you can get it done, then my last resort is the first idea. <laughs> Come on. You've got 15 seconds to decide. Yeah? Think you can get it done? Listen, I'll respect your opinion either way. Why would you leave such a major decision up to me? You're because you keep a level head. You always choose well, no matter how ugly things get. I figure that's worth relying on. Well, come on, Dan. When have I done that? Come on, you Every do it all time. the time. Yeah. Take five years ago. If you hadn't gone to Mr. Hannes for help, Mikasa and I would have been eaten by the Titans. Yeah. Armin, our time's up. Artillery crew has reloaded, Captain. It's your call, sir. That joker can't even. Mikasa have enough faith in me to put their lives. He can't even close the door. And I have complete trust in the two of them, more than anyone else in this world. Let him do it, Armin. Act alone is all the convincing I need. I will persuade them. Trust me. You two just act as non-aggressively as you possibly can. <laughs> Aaron is not a foe of humanity. We're willing to cooperate with military command and share everything we've learned about his powers. Yo, please, fall on deaf ears. He revealed his true form, and because of that threat, he cannot leave here alive. If you insist he's not an enemy of ours, show me proof. Otherwise, we'll blast him back to whatever nightmare he crawled out of. You don't need any proof. That's right. There's no need at all. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what we perceive him to be! Come on! What? Prepare to attack! Do let yourself be slain by his cunning lies! Don't do it. The Titan's behavior has always been beyond our comprehension! I wouldn't put it past him to assume human form! Aaron, because of... I am a soldier! And I have dedicated my heart to the restoration of humanity, sir! Nothing could make me prouder than dying for such a noble cause! If we were to use his Titan ability and combine it with the manpower we have left, I believe we can do it! We can retake this city! Oh, Armin. For humanity's glory and what little time I have left to live, I will advocate his strategic value! <laughs> Don't let their words sway you! They're all traitors! I swore an oath as an officer! I will crush all in subordination! Hey, Mika says ready. Somebody you don't stop. want it! Somebody stop it. That's enough. Yep. Yeah. You should really do something about your nervous disposition, Captain Foreman. Whoa! Commander Pixis! What? Look at all the people that's behind us! See this soldier's heartfelt salute? 
I think we could at least do these young soldiers the favor of hearing them out. We got a mean flag. Nope, not any of you. <laughs> Eaten by a titan wouldn't be so bad if it was a sexy lady one. <laughs> the man also notorious for being genuinely upset. <laughs> what the hell is going through the commander's head? So, visiting this cellar should clear everything up? Yes, sir. Well, at least I think so. For the moment, there is no way to validate all of the claims you've made. For now, I'll just catalog them in here. With that said, I can usually tell the difference between the unctuous and the sincere, which is why I personally guarantee your safety. All right. Come on, though. Your cadet Armin Arlert, is that correct? Yes, sir. You mentioned the plan to harness this so-called Titan ability and then utilize your friend's power to retake the city. Come on. Do you believe it could work? Or were you grasping at straws to try and save your hides? Well, both. Oh, well. Right. Both, Commander. Mm -hmm. Both. B-O-A-F. I was going to suggest that Aaron, using his strength as a titan, could lift that giant boulder. We could use it to block off the wrecked gate. Mm. That was the best idea I was able to come up with on the spot. I just wanted to make everyone see how Aaron's ability might provide a solution to the problem we all face. What do you say, Cadet Jaeger? See, <laughs> sir? That hole, do you think that you could plug it up, son? It's possible. Give it a shot. But at the moment, I don't understand my power any more than you do. It's just, I sort of feel irresponsible giving you an answer. Because mm. I don't really know. Right, right. Ah, right. yes. Of course, my apologies. I asked you the wrong question. Are you willing to, Cadet Jaeger? Mm, come on. Or not? Mm. All right. I'll do it. All right. I'll do it. I don't know if I can steal that hole, but I'll do it. so into this <laughs> mm -hmm. i was just telling ralph right before the episode started like he wanted to watch something and i was like nope we gotta watch attack on titan because the way he the way it ended last time he was just a torso with mm -hmm. one eye mm -hmm. and i need to see what aaron's about to do next um so he understands a little bit that well this is what he understands and you just piggyback on what i'm about to say and then we'll try to wrap it up but he knows that the full, complete answer to everything as far as being come in a Titan is in the cellar. And that's the reason why his father got the key. That's the reason why I knew he wasn't dead. And that's the reason why there's a cellar. <laughs> and da 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 <laughs> That's what you slipped in. That's what was on your shoe. And that explains the abrasion on your palm. Let me run that back for you. That's what you slipped in, that's what was on your shoe, and that explains the abrasion on your palm! One more right. time! <laughs> <laughs> that explains the abrasion on your palm! <laughs> but yeah, same here. I said that. Yeah. I was like, oh no, there's no way he's dead. Because yeah, the key and the, the cellar, key, they that's even, too important. For me, here it is. If it would have went any further and they would not have brought Aaron back, and said anything else about that key, mm -hmm. I'd have been like, I don't want to watch this no more. <laughs> because the key was significant because why would they even mm -hmm. talk about it? Here's my thing. If you don't talk about it, if it's not going to come to, you know, mm -hmm. not fruition, but if it's not going to be manifested in a way that we can understand, why would his father even mention the key mm -hmm. and put it on? First of all, he thought it was a dream when his father gave him that key. He thought it was a dream. He thought he was hallucinating and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that he got up and he, he understands that when he bit his finger, the only thing that he said that he was focused on was protecting them from the cannon. And that's the reason why uh, he appeared just for that purpose, mm -hmm. to protect them from the cannon. And then he just started dwindling away, just like the other Titans, the mm -hmm. way they normally do when they are killed, mm -hmm. vaporized, basically. He was like, so we need to get up out of here. He was like, all right, Armin. You got to come up with a plan. You got to convince these jokers not to kill us when we come up out of here. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you got to do. But that's option two. The option one is that I just get up out of here and I leave y'all. <laughs> and that's it. Mika said, you cannot go with me. I don't need you to be with me, blah, blah, blah. And Mika said, was like, no, nah, I'm going with you now. Nah. You know, I'm pulling my knife and I'm, we're going to fight. Mm -hmm. She had already promised 
the fact that she promised his mom, I think, yeah. that she wouldn't, that she would always yeah. be by his she, side. That is a that. promise that she's going to keep. Mm -hmm. And then she did the same promise to Armin as well. Mm -hmm. Said that she would protect him. So mm -hmm. those three are just basically going to be together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this was, it's, and Commander Dot. Mm -hmm. Just as the commander was yeah. like, the he was dude getting ready, was getting ready to, to, you know, he's like, hold on, we came to last minute, but we heard, we heard what's going on, and that boy just poured his heart out to you. He was like, do you see how how passionate his salute was? Right. He was staring like this. <laughs> Eyes closed. We gonna listen to him. He was like, nah, we're going to hear him out, see what they got to say. Mm -hmm. So, the fact that commander is all for him, mm -hmm. um, and everybody's, and, and Sasha's alive. Mm -hmm. Give it up for Potato Girl. Mm-hmm. I thought she was dead. Right. But she's alive and she said her stomach was hurting because she was hungry. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. I love everything about this. The animation, mm -hmm. everything, the, the storyline. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the dub is not... It could be... I think it would hit me more in the Japanese language. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm willing to watch it outside of our reactions mm -hmm. just to get the whole feel of it, though. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You're good. That was everything. Yeah. So um, let us know what you guys thought. Yes. And we'll see y'all next time. Love you guys. Love y'all. <laughs> Bye. Hey, wake up.